Afrojack, I just want to say something right up front. I, I didn't want to wear my Afrojack shirt because I didn't want you and everybody to think I'm a huge Afrojack mark because I'm always wearing it. You're, you're a good fan. But hold on. Hold on. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I got my Afrojack socks oh, on. Sh- <laughs> oh, sh- You brought the fire. You brought the frago. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Afrojack, welcome back to America's Dance 30. Thank you. Good to be back. Congratulations on another number one. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a journey. Yeah, we were just talking about how it seems like forever that we've been talking about Hero. Yeah, it's like the the song was ready to go at the start of the whole COVID thing. And it's we had it waiting for a very long time. And then we decided to release it... Uh, I think it was a little over a month ago and now like it's in its trajectory it's number one dance radio it's like going all over the world people are loving it but we had this conversation since about more than a year already so it's it's fun to be able to share that journey with someone well think back to the beginning of this track like in the infancy of this song for fans that mm-hmm. might not have an idea of how a song comes together Give us kind of a a step-by-step at the beginning of the song. Let me find this in my email real quick. Awake tonight. No, that's Sia. That's a different one. That's, we don't talk about that. Wait a second. Wait a second. (laughs) October 18th, 2018. Holy crap. 2018? Two and a half years ago. That's when we made the first setup. Oh my God. When I, when I made the first demo. My mind is blown right now that it's been going so long. Bro, you, you have no idea. It's, uh, I'm also looking back at these emails now going like, damn, that's, that's a long time ago. <laughs> and, uh, no, but there was also another song, like I said, there was a Sia song I was working on. Uh, but that never, you know, that didn't happen. Some things happen, some things don't happen. Hero happened. So that's a good thing. So let's talk about that. But yeah, October 4th, 2018. Wow. You know, it's so crazy. This morning when I was thinking about our chat, just a random thought popped into my head that we need an Afrojack Armin Van Buren song. And then I saw your post on Instagram from a month ago with Armin. Is that something that's going to happen? Let me WhatsApp him right now. I'm gonna, I, I was working on a song, actually. I didn't send it to him, but I was thinking about this song for us. So I'm going to send it to him right now. So uh, this is like, if this song happens, I can't say anything, of course. But uh, if this song happens, you know when it happens. So hold on. Right does that, here on Americans Dance Top 30. Does that mean I get like writing credit or some kind of credit for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, Fortunately, it does not work this way. Fortunately for me. <laughs> now, you guys haven't done a song previously, have you? No. Why has there never been an Armin Afrojack song? Because I think we were two very different people doing a very different career trajectory. He's very on point. I'm very not on point. <laughs> I think that's the best way to describe it. Uh, but uh, I didn't start to realize uh, the amount of effort that goes into some people's career until a few years ago, like when I started reading books and uh, drinking less and paying more attention. I was like, wow, he really, he really killed it. Like he, he built Armada. He built, uh, he's a part of, uh, uh, I think, also a bookings agency. He has uh, his own events. He has his straight of trance. He has a gigantic radio station. He has like so many things. And he really killed it on the, on the business aspect of how to not just grow your own brand, but also grow all the people around you. I was like, wow, that's impressive. And then I, last time I saw him, I, like, I immediately like, yo, I have to tell you. Like, I did not respect you the way I was supposed to respect you. So hereby, my respect. And it's like, oh, dope, man. Thank you. And I was like, well, of course I would love to make a song with him. So this later came up somewhere on socials, like, when's the collab coming? He was like, yeah. 
why is there no collab? Like there's a lot, uh, there's a lot of points we do our own thing, but there's also a lot of points our music touch base. So why not? And it could, you know, be a um, a very cool coming together of sounds, kind of like the Timmy Trumpet Afrojack song. You know, it's two combinations of sounds that I I think an Afro Armin collab is just the thought of it is incredible. Well, I wouldn't say incredible, but yeah, I, I think it could be cool. You know, the thing is, we both have, in our own way, really, really high energy uh, DJ performances. Of course, he's like the king of trends, so he goes a little bit more on the trancey side, and I go a little bit more hip hop, urban influenced. That's two different flavors, but the energy is the same. So I definitely think we can put that together. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about Hero. Uh, last time, I think you were on the promo only One Music Ave Zoom. You mentioned that Hero was the best song you had in your hard drive. Have you yes. ha- have you had time since then? Since Hero has gone number one now, have you had time to make more of the best songs in your laptop? No. So the best song in my laptop now, uh, I'm working on it. I'm finishing it up. And it's supposed to be the follow-up song of Hero. But I'm very happy to say it's also really good. <laughs> it's also like I'm really happy with it. I really love it. Yeah, it's I, I'm in a good place right now. Like I have songs in my hard drive that I really love and that I'm able to put out. Like there, there's always, of course, like making stuff you love. And then when you collaborate with people, everyone has their own release schedule. So a lot of times you make dope shit and you can't put it out for a while. But I think it's planned for October. I'm very excited about that. That's awesome. Well, I, w- I was chatting. Well, September, actually, or August. Rose knows. I, I don't know. Well, this is even getting better <laughs> if it's August. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it out now. You know, I was chatting with uh, Luxtide, who, of course, is the vocalist mm-hmm. on Hero. And she said that you are amazing for helping out up and coming artists. I tried to convince her that you're not. Uh, but she said. Um, I, I am not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Well, maybe with some other people, yes, but with her, not yet. No, you, in your career, you've done an amazing job of being able to help up-and-coming artists. Think back with your legendary career. What piece of advice would you have for up-and-coming artists? Uh, be nice, first of all. <sighs> like, don't don't be a... Don't be like... Rah, 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 rah. like you, because there's always someone bigger. So always be the smallest, sweetest person in the room. And uh, work, make a lot of music, make as good as possible music, uh, just keep going. Like You have to imagine out of all the songs that e- even I make, uh, and I say even I like just in the sense that I've been successful, it's still I make 100 songs, five come out. Like in my case now, because I'm pretty experienced, so I can say in advance, okay, I'm not going to do this. I make 30 songs and five come out. Wow. But still 25 don't come out. And like the earlier in your career, you're going to make a thousand songs and only five are going to come out. And this is, this is how it goes when you're nice. Like uh, it's, it's not about necessarily having the best product. It's also about people wanting you to win. And eventually end of the day, you're dealing with people. So prioritize the people and then prioritize the product. Never think that your product can be so good that you don't have to deal with people anymore. Because no matter how big you are, if you're a douchebag, people are not going to play your music. Man, I love that advice. As a programmer, I love that advice. To <laughs> upcoming Be artists. nice to Brian. <laughs> it's, it's true, though. Like, your life's not going to change if you don't play a song. Like, unless it's like oof, Taylor Swift or Ariana Grande. But even, even them, in the long term, the reason they're getting all this play is because they still treat people with respect. If you don't treat people with respect, you see a lot of successful people that don't get played on the radio because they're ass. Because like, nobody wants to back them up. Of course. And when you're on the radio, you're not just presenting an artist, you're presenting the culture of an artist. That's why like uh, a lot of cultural, how you say, bad examples don't get played on the radio because a radio station does not want to affiliate themselves with someone that's culturally backwards. That's so true. Well, Afrojack, 
congratulations. I know we've been talking about it for a long time. Congratulations on Hero being the biggest dance song in the country on America's Dance 30. That's, that's pretty crazy. I, I, I do have to do this now. Now I'm here. I want to give a gigantic shout out to everyone that worked on the record, uh, including you, Brian. Even though you didn't work on the record, you you listened to me babbling on about nonsense for a year. Uh, of course, my whole team at Wall, uh, under the lead of Rose, my management, and uh, Kerry, who did the promotion, because he's been killing it. Very fans. I feel like I'm supposed to be presenting you with an award here or something that you're thanking. No, no, no. <laughs> But like, yo, this is the this is the problem right now with society. Like, people think like you don't win until you get an award, bro. This is the, f- sorry, this is the award. This is the award. Like everyone is listening to your song, and like, like it's not like we love you so much we make you number one. No, it's like people like your song, and that's why people are playing it, and it gets to number one. That's that's the award. So that's what we have to celebrate, and that's why I thank my team. I got nothing to say to that because that's so true. I mean, people loving and listening to your music is better than any award you could actually get. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's the real awards. And usually it goes kind of in sync. Like if you look at the the iHeartRadio Awards, which I'm pretty sure is a thing, right? Yes. (laughs) Yes. Yes. I'm from Europe. (laughs) So it's based basically on how many people enjoy the music. That's, That's how you guys select, okay, these guys should win awards for how many people they made happy. So now, of course, I'm not on the Justin Bieber level yet, so I'm not reaching billions of people. Well, I'm not saying yet. I'm not planning on doing that. But, uh, yeah, I, I think for us, especially in dance music, like even top 10 dance radio is a celebration. Top th- being in the top 30 of dance radio is a celebration because that means millions of people are enjoying your music. So you did something right. It means you made a nice song. A it's nice like, oh, it was song. only number 27. I suck. No, it doesn't work like that. You killed it. I love how you label it as a nice song. <laughs> I, I don't know how to call it, but you know what I mean. Right? I know I know exactly what you mean. I And I've told people that, listen, even if one person reaches out and says that they love your song, that's somebody that is loving your art. The reason I think this gets lost is because once you get into the industry, you work with labels that are not going to be happy. Like the label doesn't make money if you don't reach number one in dance. So like now the label's like, yeah, good job. They weren't like that when we were 25. They like, what, bro, we need number one, else we're losing money. That's that's how labels think. No disrespect though, but like that's their job. That's their business. For us as artists, we have to remember one person liking it is amazing. Ten person loving it is even better. A thousand, ten thousand, millions, it's it's unthinkable. So it's already success when you have 10, 20, 100 people loving your song. And all the extra stuff is business. So like we automatically feel pressured like, oh, the business doesn't think it's successful. So we shouldn't feel successful. No, we're successful as hell. Let's go, baby. Let's go. (laughs) Let's go. Let's go. (laughs) Afrojack, thank you for your time. It's always awesome catching up with you. Thank you for being on America's Dance 30. Thank you for listening to me. Uh, <laughs> we never there. You know, thank you. So just thank you as always for your time.